magic brown truck is approaching. It is a great day. Oh man, it's here. There it is. Box of stuff, two day ship to my house. Um, I ordered it Wednesday, it's Friday now. I had to get it right now. Um, me and my dad are actually going to Lake Seminole down in South Georgia around the uh, Alabama, Florida border. And I needed a couple baits just because I really don't have much to cover that kind of water. Um, I'm used to kind of just standard reservoirs, uh, Lake Lanier, that kind of thing. Um, fishing a lot of shad patterns is what I do. Shad, uh, maybe a little bit of herring. But I don't fish a whole lot of bluegill patterns. And down at Lake Seminole, it's a lot warmer there. Um, and it looks like we're going to get there right about the time that bass are going to be about to spawn or just started spawning. And as you guys know, during that time period, you really want to fish a bluegill bait. Uh, bass get really territorial about bluegills around their nests just because bluegill really like to feed on bass eggs and bass fry. So we're going to open this up and I'll kind of go through what I got here and what I'm planning to use it for. that junk out of the way all right so I got some sinker stops um, of course for punching and flipping and stuff like that um, I just I don't own any sinker stops I don't do much punching and flipping but I got some for getting down there there's a lot of pads a lot of debris and stuff like that down there um, behind that I got some I got a chatterbait here this is just a one half ounce chatterbait it's in a bluegill pattern um, just to fish around like I said beds and stuff like that the thing about down there is the water's pretty murky, so you actually can't fish two bedding fish as much as you can around here. Instead, what I'm going to do is just kind of cover water and cover over bedding fish. So this is just a little chatterbait, uh, a little kind of sunfish color, and I'm going to just fish that down there wherever and hope to find some uh, bass that are willing to feed. Next up, I've got some uh, rattles here. These are rattle bands, punch and flipping, that kind of stuff. Put them on a Texas rig. Give them a little bit more extra noise. I also got some sonar balls. And these are the same way. Fish them on a Carolina rig, Texas rig, whatever. I also like to use these in fly tying. Um, so I ordered a couple extra ones of those. Uh, another little jig. This is a swim jig in a bluegill color. Just like the chatterbait. Um, and then here's where we get into some real stuff here. I've got some big bluegill swim baits. Let's take a look at these guys. Yeah, those look nice. And these are MCs, I believe. I've never actually heard of this brand. I just needed some cheap bluegill swim baits. I've already got a gantrail that I'm taking and a couple other things. But I just wanted something big and bulky. And that right there is going to do the trick for me, I think. It's got a nice hook slot there. That's a nice looking bait. And swimming that through pads and weeds and debris and stuff like that might be a really good technique for me. Um, like I said, I've got that chatterbait. I've got some little Havoc... Uh, what are those? Flipping baits, whatever they're called. Uh, pit bosses, sorry about that. Uh, I got some more swim baits. That's really the, what the majority of this order was. I've got some Gambler Big Easies, some more Gambler Big Easies in a shad color. This is more of a bluegill color. And then I've got some skinny dippers in kind of a watermelon color. And that should cover all my bases as far as swim baits I need. And then to go with those, I've got some different hooks. I've got some Big old hooks. Um, I've already got some trocars. Got a little bit smaller size hook, and then I've got some weighted hooks. And that's all that I needed, uh, really. I just needed some stuff to color bluegill. I've also got some Lunker City Grubsters here. I just needed some real small little grubs to fish um, when my bass around here are king it on very small gizzard shad. So that's what those are for. Anyway, guys, that's my order. Stay tuned for those Seminole Lake Seminole videos. And we'll catch you next time.